Whoa! Damn. Go ahead, bro. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another vloggy vlog. As we cruise on this gorgeous Saturday, day before the Super Bowl. It's uh, 60 degrees today. It's literally like, uh, even though it's February, February, what is it, 12th, 13th, who knows. Um, yeah, it's freaking, it's gorgeous. It's warm. And uh, just decided to go for a little cruise, do some errands. Actually got to go to the UPS store now, and then I'm going to go to Union Garage. And uh, it's never a dull moment. With bikes. This morning, I look at my fork, and my right fork is leaking. So, I'm kind of cruising, taking it easy. I've been meaning to rebuild them, and I've been putting it off, and that's how that works in life. But, nice. Huh? I think uh, that's tar pit. And uh, yeah, anyway, so that's how life works. And I am right now crossing into Greenpoint. And today actually is a gas tank question kind of day. I don't know if you guys remember that little segment that I did. Um, and today's gas tank question is from Danny Leon. And his question is, have you ever dropped a bike? And if so, how? That's a great topic because I have dropped a bike plenty of times. Plenty of plenty of times. I have a... Uh... Oh, so this guy's going straight, I guess. Yeah, because like, there's, uh, there's different ways to drop the bike, right? Obviously, there's the inevitable if you live in the city, somebody's going to back into it. Guaranteed. More than once. You just got to get used to that. It's just a thing, you know, unless you park it in the garage and you take it out like a toy, like you don't use it like a tool and park it here, there and everywhere. Um, the amount of times I came back to my bike and it was knocked over, uh, I would say uh, three. Where it was just like uh, laying there on the side waiting for me. Uh, one time it was in Dumbo, one time it was in Sunnyside. And one time it was upstate. Uh, yeah. And each time there was no real damage. I mean, there was like some scratches and shit. That's why I have like uh, uh, frame sliders on the back, on the front. And uh, yeah, like you break a mirror. Luckily, like you don't break a bar. The last time I, my bike got dropped like that, I actually broke uh, a foot peg. And that's when I took a foot peg from the back of the bike and put it on the front. And, uh, yeah, so that worked out. That worked out all right. And, uh, yeah, that's inevitable. People back into the shit. The first time I ever dropped my bike or crashed my bike or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Uh, is this guy going to try to beat everybody? Are you going straight? I can't tell. Um, the first time I actually crash crashed was uh in new jersey i was in a parking lot of a mall and some random mall and i was actually meeting my mom of all people and uh she was behind me and uh she got like lost previously that's why i was like i was literally helping her we we're going to some party and i was helping her guiding her and as i'm as she's following me i'm looking back in my mirror and i realize she's going the wrong way again so i literally i'm going five miles per hour and i like lean back uh to like wave at her and that's when I fell over I literally crashed at like five miles per hour in front of like 10 cars with my mom behind me you know and uh, at the time I it was like my first I had like for like a year or something so for me it was like a massive massive situation you know it was like 
a massive thing. And to my mom, she didn't, doesn't really know about bikes, so she was just like, yeah, pick it up, let's go. <laughs> you know? And luckily, that's exactly what I did, and everything worked. So that was nice. Uh, but obviously, I had a proper crash where I got T-boned by a taxi cab um, that ran a stop sign. I mean, one day I'll share the footage. Maybe I'll put a little clip right here, like a tiny little taste. Whoa! Damn. And I'll crap, show the whole thing later. But, but yeah, that was uh, I was going 40, and uh, and I came down. The bike slid actually onto the sidewalk through one of those handicap ramps. That was a miracle. Uh, so yeah that was not cool at all and uh yeah that, that was uh that was fucked up i actually uh i mean I, I didn't get hurt but my bike definitely got hurt my uh exhaust ripped off my bars got bent uh my brakes all that all that's jazz all sorts of jazz got messed up so yeah this bike's been down at least five times yeah one time uh the pavement caved in that's why you got to test the pavement for hardness you know i'm gonna park right here i'm gonna take a right All right, go ahead around me. You got it. All right, I'm gonna park right here. Seems like a nice little spot. All right. So yeah, well, that's my story about crashing the bike and I'm sticking to it. I'm sticking to it. Ah, oh, damn it. I can't believe my Philly freaking fork. What a pain in the butt. What a pain in the butt. I'll show you guys I gotta re rebuild the forks I have the seals I have the time I have the place I haven't done it yeah dude mad oil coming out mad oil uh, all right well it is what it is all right I'll take care of something I got to do and I'll talk to you guys later